A trip to Rome. Exterior Four Seasons Baltimore, evening one month ago. Downtown Baltimore traffic crowds the streets. The hotel twinkles with light reflecting in the bay. Interior guest room, hallway, Four Seasons Baltimore, same. Father Patrick Healy, 38 years old, a nerdy hipster, glasses, stocky bearded, checks the door numbers as he walks down the hallway. Stops at room 510. He smiles slightly. He waves a keycard in front of the metal pad above the doorknob. The door clicks unlocked. Interior room 510, Four Seasons Baltimore, continuous. Ronaldo Ray Ruiz, 40 years old, very thin but movie star looks, Dark eyes and hair holds himself with some importance as he lays on the bed. Stocking feet, still in his clerical collar, breathtakingly handsome. Patrick smiles at the sight of him. You had to pick the fanciest hotel in town. Thank you for coming. He said it was important. I brought the oxy, but I don't know if we have enough. Patrick leans in to kiss Ray, takes off his jacket, and pulls a good amount of black cord like rope from his pocket. Brought this too. What's that? Get settled. I've got something to go over. Patrick opens the double doors of the closet and steps inside. What are you doing? Patrick pokes his head out. A black cord is secured in the closet. Patrick is hanging off the rope into the room. I was thinking that maybe it might take some time for the pills to kick in, but if I take the pills and have this thing rigged, it'll be... Then a loud pop and a louder bang, bang, bang. The clothing rod in the closet snaps in two. Father Patrick falls onto the carpeted floor. Perfect. You're breaking the four seasons. I'm sure that won't cost much. Patrick gets off the floor, sits on the edge of the bed, and slowly, sadly unknots the noose in the rope. Well, why should the bill matter now? Ray struggles from the bed to the floor, onto his knees in front of Patrick. You know, I never asked you to do this. Patrick looks at Ray with interest and wariness. What's this thing you have to talk to me about? You know Madam Senator is after me to clean some of her money and make it look like a donation. He reaches into the backpack, pulls out a yellow-orange vial of pills and a bottle of water. I thought she was hobnobbing with the church to look better. Sure, but she has a photo of us. This photo. Ray pulls a photo of them dancing at the club out and drops it on the table in front of Patrick. Patrick smiles. That was the Madonna night. You don't think she was behind those guys that... I never thought of that. Patrick turns the photo over. Bray, what does it matter? If the doctors are right or if, if we beat them to it, this just doesn't matter. Ray embraces Patrick, resting his head on Patrick's shoulder. You're right. You're always right. Might as well start. Patrick takes a pill in hand and looks to Ray as if he were giving communion. In the name of the Father, have some respect. Patrick's eyes grow large. Ray takes a pill and Patrick does the same. Ray wraps his arms around Patrick's waist, hugging his midsection. How many, how many do you think we need? All of them. Patrick's eyes widen. And let's get comfortable. Patrick gets off the bed, goes to the entry table where flowers and wine sit. He grabs the tray and the wine glasses. He sets the tray on the bed as he helps Ray off the floor and onto the bed. Let's put the TV on it, get under the covers, and talk and fall asleep. All the while taking this bottle of pills. Patrick points the remote at the TV. Horn? Patrick looks surprised at Ray. They're not going to have anything we're interested in. It's 2018, Patty. Of course they will. Ray grabs the remote, clicks through a few screens. Whoa, how did you know about this? Ray smiles, winks, and reaches for the bottle of pills. Why not, right? Patrick follows Ray's lead and does the same. Uh, wait, they're going to find us with this on the TV? On the large flat screen TV is a nude muscled young man skimming a swimming pool with a long cleaning pole. Please, we'll set the timer. This will be off in 90 minutes. Now get into bed and tell me your deepest secrets. Ray takes off the clerical collar, folds his pants and places them on the bedside chair. He sits on the bed to take off his socks. Patrick takes another pill, wrestles his clothes off onto the floor and jumps onto the bed. Work, God, you. There's been no secrets, right? I've always admired how one with the spirit you are. Even when you were a boy. Well, it always made sense. I just knew. But you always knew more about the church. True. That made sense to me, but for other reasons. 
practical reasons. How's a gay Latino kid with this face get out of the projects alive? Patrick reaches over and pulls Ray to him, kisses him deeply, tears streaming down his face. All these years I wanted to make sure that you were alive, that I wasn't alone, and now... Ray kisses Patrick's forehead and slips another pill between his lips. Patrick does the same.